Greetings scientific explorers, it's Professor Ace and it's naturally all about science. Thank you for joining, remember to like, subscribe and share. Wait for it, this session we're going to take your breath away as we dive into the respiratory system. So please keep on watching for seeing what's going on down below. Keep calm and keep on breathing. Let's dive into your respiratory diagram. So air gets air flows into your nose or your mouth down your windpipe, your trachea. Right, and as it goes down your trachea, that's your trachea right there, the airway splits into two, the bronchus. So you have a left and a right bronchus. Right. As you the air continue to go further down your bronchus, it branches out into the bronchi. So those are your bronchi. And then even further, wait for it, we're going deeper. Your bronchi then branches into your bronchioli. And at the tip of every bronchioli, those are all those little dots you see right there. That is where the magic happens. Those little bubbles are called the alveoli. So at the tip of every bronchioli is a little bunch of bubbles that looks like literally a bunch of grapes. Round sphere pair air pockets. And when you inhale, the air flows through the pathway we just said and those bubbles inflate and that is why your chest grows bigger so very important to remember is watch the space the lung is not a muscle there's no difference and be warned sensitive viewers there's no difference between an empty packet and your lung apart from you can't get it from the grocery store and fill it with other kind of junk but your lung is literally an empty pocket that when you inhale air flows in and it enlarges right so your lung is a tissue filled with little tubes and air pockets that every time you inhale the air flows into the air pockets and that enlarges your chest which makes you breathe Right. So your alveoli plays an inc incredibly important role when it comes to breathing. Right. So does your diaphragm. So if you look closer, if you go down, so the cumulative organ of all the alveoles, bronchioles, bronchus, and bronchi, together they are called the lung. Right. So right at the bottom of the lung, right there, that is your diaphragm. Now the amazing thing about biology is you are your own experiment so I want you to quickly close your nose tighten your mouth and try to inhale as strong as you can right if you really went for it you would have felt the sharp pain sensation right here and the reason for that is that is your diaphragm the diaphragm is actually the thing that makes you breathe right your lung is just an empty sack hanging waiting for action so your diaphragm is like this ruler it is relaxed the moment you want to breathe it contracts right it contracts down that enlarges your, enlarges your chest cavity which causes a ch change in pressure and the air actually gets sucked in through your trachea down your bronchus into your bronchi through your bronchioli and whoop, there goes your alveoli inflated and ready for action but now as you have the air in your alveoles the capillary surrounding it is now busy with gaseous exchange it's popping up all the oxygen out of the alveoli into the bloodstream and vice versa the carbon dioxide is the waste gets popped into your blood and on the count of three when you exhale there's a reason it's such a calming sensation because this contracted diaphragm is now relaxed and at the same time Remember, a relaxing muscle doesn't have force. It is your rib muscles. If you try and press between your ribs, you feel that you can't get to your heart, right? Or your lungs. So because they are attached by rib muscles, your rib muscles contract. And as they contract, they squeeze your rib cage smaller, which literally, wait for it, well, not to that extreme. It deflates your lungs. And that is what's called exhaling. Right? So there you go, that is your diaphragm, your lung, your bronchi, everything that you need to know about your respiratory system. 
but there are three processes in which it works together right the first process is called breathing and that is as simple as a physical in and exhaling of air note i use the word air because air is a combination of different gases but only oxygen and carbon dioxide get swapped out the next process after you inhaled is gaseous exchange this gaseous exchange like i said happened in your alveoli where the gases swap out they get exchanged oxygen into the blood and carbon dioxide out of the blood that is gaseous exchange and last process is respiration and that doesn't happen in the respiratory system it happens deep down in every single cell of your body respiration takes place because every cell needs oxygen to break down glucose which is called respiration so that it has, can have energy so that you and I can live so for your own sake keep on breathing and keep on watching yeah.